Many patients will ask us what is the significance of a head frame. And of course, as soon as we start talking about the accuracy of the treatment and the necessity of the head frame to get that accuracy, that's usually all the patients want to know. Many, many times we treat um, brain tumors that are very close to critical brain structures. If that patient moves their head during a treatment, or if the patient attempts to move their head, that makes all the difference in the world in whether or not you can hit the target. We're able to assure our patients that if they were to cough or sneeze or take a deep breath or possibly even go to sleep and then suddenly wake back up with a jerk, that we don't have to worry that their head moved. We know that the head is stable and we can get the accuracy that we promise simply because of the head frame. Typically the frames are put on the patient around 7 o'clock in the morning. It takes about 5 or 10 minutes to put the frame on. This includes the time that we numb the patient's head, uh, get everything clean and ready to go, and then the time that we actually put the frame on. Um, neurosurgeon is there of course to put the frame on and so they're there also to answer any questions that the family has as well as the patient. Once the frame is on, we take the patients uh, to our MRI department. They are over an MRI, typically about 30 minutes. Uh, the actual table time is around 15 to 20 minutes. Once the MRI is complete, we bring the patients back to the Gamma Knife Suite, and during this time, the planning and mapping for the radiation treatment goes on. We allow the patient's family to come back during that time. They can come in the room. We have uh, televisions set up there for them. By that time, usually we'll let them have something to eat and drink. As soon as the treatment planning time is done, the patient uh, is put on the patient table on the treatment couch. We lay them down, put a warm blanket over them. Uh, most times they go to sleep by that time. Uh, the things that they were most worried about are over and done. Once the treatment is complete, we sit the patient up on the treatment couch and we remove the frame. Taking the frame off is about a five minute long procedure at the most. Uh, their head is still numb, of course, from the medicine we gave that morning, so they don't feel it come off. The size of the pinholes are about the size of the end of a ballpoint pen. That's always a surprise to our patients as well, and it's a pleasant surprise. When they leave, we um, put some uh, antibiotic ointment over the pen sites and two little band-aids on the forehead and um, on the back of the head also if they have no hair. And then within a half hour to an hour later, the patient is ready to go home. It was explained to me in great detail by my doctors, by my gamma knife technicians, gave me research material, they gave me printed material, and it really was not an issue for me. And then in the comfort of my home, I was able to go to the Gamma Knife uh, website, and, uh, which provided an awful lot of uh, information to me, and where I could go to get comfortable with it. The preparations that my Gamma Knife technicians asked me to do before I arrived for the procedure was to uh, uh, no food or drink after 12 midnight to, uh, uh, except for taking my uh, normal meds and to wear uh, uh, very loose-fitting, comfortable clothing. The medicine that I received was nothing more than a relaxant, something that just uh, made you feel relaxed and very comfortable. I was very much uh, aware of all that was going on, not groggy, or just felt very comfortable and relaxed. The experience of having the frame put on was really a, a, a non-event again. So I never really knew that they actually put it on and it was completed. I, uh, while I was waiting for it to happen, it had already been done. The comfort and the weight of the frame was like wearing a hat. Uh, you knew something was there. Uh, it was not uncomfortable. After the frame was put in place, I was able to uh, rest uh, either sitting or reclining uh, with no issues whatsoever. After the uh, installation of the frame, uh, the MRI took place 
and then uh, the actual gamma knife uh, uh, took place. So it was uh, uh, very fast-paced and uh, very accommodating. The special instructions given to me after the frame was removed was to go home, relax, and by dinner time, if I felt like going out, uh, go out and have a party. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you want to play golf the next day, go play golf the next day. That's exactly what I did. Patients ask us all the time if we're going to have to shave their heads when they come in. They're very worried about losing their hair. Well, we are very pleased to be able to tell them two things. One, no, we don't have to shave their head. The pins are small enough that we can go through the hair and have no problems with that. So they will not have to have it shaved. And then it's very, very unusual to lose hair after gamma knife treatment. The radiation does not damage the hair follicles at all and has no impact on their hair. Many times we'll tell them um, to try not to put any gels or um, hair products in their hair before they come. Uh, but that's really the only restriction we have where hair is concerned. Many times patients ask us what the noise level is of the, of the gamma knife. They assume because the machine looks similar to an MRI that it will have that same clang, clang, clanging noise uh, that the MRI does. In fact, we have had patients that completed their entire treatment and were afraid that we had not even started the treatment because they couldn't hear anything. We allow our patients to bring uh, CD uh, music that they can listen to during the time of their treatment. There is a microphone inside uh, the machine. When we are treating our patients, we don't stay in the room with the patients. So we have the patients monitored on cameras. We can watch them and of course we can talk to them and they can talk back to us at any time. And they can do this of course even if they're listening to music. So again that in increases the patient's um, comfort and their uh, feeling of safety that somebody is right there with them at all times. My experience with gamma knife is uh, uh, most positive. As I've had three gamma knife surgeries. My first experience was that you arrived early, you checked in, and you were met by technicians, wonderful technicians, who uh, uh, accepted you immediately prepped you and uh, began the operations so that you were in and out so swiftly and quickly. It was a, uh, a good experience. Uh, the first time you do it, yes, you, it's uncharted waters for you, so yes, you have some fears and that's only natural, but uh, 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 everything is so quick that it all dissipates. It's painless. Uh, there is no pain, there is no blood, there is no surgery, no cutting, no, no anything of that type. So this word surgery is sort of like the wrong nomenclature. It's more of just a uh, procedure. And um, the fear factor goes away so quick and the results are so good that it is so worthwhile. And I would say anyone uh, I would offer my hopes and my prayers that you would give it strong consideration.